lit is that? Nosh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Thank you. Awesome, dude. <laughs> this is the Pig Roast with Otto and George. Completely uncensored entertainment on Dash Fox TV. <laughs> with Abe Ruiz and the Squatters. Our amazing burlesque dancing team, the Piglets. Disgusting whores. All right. You never look like you know where the fuck you're going. No, this is what this is the spot. Oh, the piglets are looking great, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. And I like those outfits, man. Need make work in the uh, coming to work a fucking pleasure there. A little, a little S and M there. Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. So, uh, so we haven't shot uh, a show in a couple of weeks. This is the pig roast on Bashbox TV. Yeah. Uncensored live. Television, right, George? A cock. That's right. <laughs> My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. I like to get up really early on Thanksgiving morning and shave my girlfriend's pussy. Because a shaved pussy looks like an uncooked turkey. Yeah, you gotta get a bowl of cranberry sauce, put it right next to it. You can't lick a bald cunt without cranberry sauce. Abe, you look like a junkie nodding off. What are you doing? All right. Hey, we got a new drummer sitting here with us. Uh, with the, this way, um, good to meet you. What's your name, sir? It's Jamie, everybody. Uh, sitting in, and uh, oh, where's that fucking asshole tuba player? Yeah, now he hit a high note and blew his left lung out of this asshole, and then he died. No, no. no he'll, be, he'll be back. So we get him. Big A is back from his uh, small hiatus. And uh, we have a great show tonight. We have the comedy of Joe Conte. Yes, we do. Good friend of mine. And we got some fucking lunatic named Dr. Do Adventure. Dr. Advent Dr. Adventure's here. Yeah. All right. So make some popcorn, relax, have a sandwich, and stay tuned for more pig roast. All right. <laughs> Welcome to another segment of Last Week Sucked, and uh, and I'm here with George, I'm Otto. Yeah, they know that. Right. Can I do the weather? Yeah. It's fucking cold! Jesus Christ, is it fucking cold. It was so cold this morning, subway flashes were describing themselves to the passengers on the D train. It was so cold this morning, the Statue of Liberty had the torch under her dress. Uh, Badoom bang. The news. 
for the news. The news. Okay, it's fucking windy. Well, hold the thing. Put the car the car to the fucking record. Yeah. <laughs> uh, TMZ claims that Demi Moore was doing whippets, inhaling nitrous oxide, George, to get high, and was rushed to the hospital this week. Her doctor responded by saying that she should be fine and next time to call him first. <laughs> uh, in France this week, the former French minister is planning to open a new amusement park dedicated to Napoleon, calling it Napoleon Land. In response to the good news, Tom Cruise celebrated by saying, finally, I'll be able to ride a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> He's short. A Shreveport, Louisiana official has introduced a public bill to ban the wearing of pajamas in public. News of the law drew an immediate response from Gary Busey asking if that included straight jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy horse to fuck. Burn your sad card and kill yourself. He's crazy. He's crazy. And you know Walter Cronkite when you read the news, you stink. Yeah, it's like this. This is Walter Cronkite in street park boys are like that. I'm not Cronkite. After uh after weekend clashes between police and Occupy Oakland brought more than 400 arrests, city officials are assessing the damages done to the city. Early estimations say it looks pretty much as shitty as it did before. <laughs> Fucking Oakland, nice place to live if you're a bullet. <laughs> Nobody's killing me. Suckers in Oakland. They're all gangs there. It's gangland, man. Uh, Herman Cain endorsed Newt... New yeah, see, you stink. All right, <laughs> Newt. Newt. All right. Herman Cain endorsed Newt Gingrich for president over the weekend. He said it was an easy choice to him since they both shared the same positions on so many different fucking broads. <laughs> uh, Apple's total value was reported to be more than the gross domestic product of Greece and Argentina. This news was further proof that the company is struggling to redound after Steve Jobs' death. <laughs> I just like saying death. An episode of Fear Factor, which featured contestants eating donkey semen, was pulled by NBC before airing. NBC, they had to pull the at NBC said they had to pull the episode because the contestant, Andy Dick, had no idea they were filming a friggin' TV show. <laughs> Suck the donkey, Scott. He did. Unable to stop the life-threatening nosebleed of a four-year-old girl, doctors from Detroit Medical Center used bacon to stop the hemorrhaging. To confirm the finding, Paula Dean said bacon is also great to stop bleeding from your period and should be used as a tampon. <laughs> like Miss Piggy would do. Miss Piggy would not use bacon, that's like cannibalism. Miss Piggy got to stick it to Smells like sizzling and hot garbage. She got to stick it to her. Miss Piggy got to stick it to her. She got to stick it to her. That's been the news. Last week we had Lewis Black. That was great. Thanks for watching. More pig roast to come. Okay. Big A, you ready for this shit? Oh, we bring some really cool acts. I haven't even seen these guys yet, and I know they're going to be like our favorites. Um, this is going to be amazing. Uh, where else can you see this but on the pig roast? Uh, brought yeah. to you by Bashbox TV. Uh, <laughs> please welcome. Dr. Adventure and Professor Clark, whatever. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh. Ow. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Adventure. This is my assistant, Professor Clark. Today, I'm gonna be showing off some feats of superhuman invulnerability. Does that sound good? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, first thing we're gonna do today Bed of broken glass. Yeah. Come on, let me hear it. All right. Yeah, it's real. If you haven't done this before, don't. <laughs> what? It's stupid. I got paid to be stupid. I had to earn it. So you take these off, and uh, you guys get a little bit of a money shot because I get to strip down. It's not. It's not fair if I'm doing all this in superhero armor, is it? Yeah. Hold on one second. This thing's made of Kevlar. It's 
not gonna prove anything. Right now. Right now. Whoa! Oh. Delfino, this is the Pig Roast with Otto and George. Yeah. <laughs> We're back with Doctor Avenger and Adventure, Doctor Adventure, and Professor Clark. Professor Clark. Um, and Dr. Avenger, yeah, get it right. They busted those fucking bottles in my favorite cum rag. Right. I won't be using that again. So I'm interested in the prosthetic shit. Could you make me a cock that also opens heavily sealed jars? I can't open. You know when you can't open a jar? Okay, uh, nothing. Yes. Right. Okay, take care. Right, no. Yes. <laughs> and you, you work at a summer camp and you teach kids how to, like, injure themselves? No, 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 no
I, I help train kids to fight monsters. Okay. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's a summer camp down in Philadelphia called Epic Adventures. Oh, that uh, sounds great. Adventures is spelled with an E-Z at the end. All right. Uh, and it's an action role play improv summer camp. These kids basically make their own video game Mo to play out. Monsters, zombies, that kind of shit? Monsters, zombies, wizards, dragons. But they get to do it all with giant foam axes and get the hell out of each other. Okay. Yeah, I spent all summer as like a blood spitting demon. All right, that douchebag dressed like the penguins getting on my nerves. <laughs> he just smokes and gives me dirty looks. That's his job. He's the professor. That isn't it? He's thinking about something to say. He's not going to actually he's just afraid say he's, No, not at all, man. Okay. Uh, I'd love to talk a little more, uh, a little more about my shop, if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Uh, so the New Flesh Workshop uh, is a designer biotechnology company, uh, and the idea is that. Uh, these technologies uh, have a huge amount of promise to do a bunch of really cool shit, but it's straight up in the medical industry, there's not that much elbow room to do these things because it's, oh, well, every, you know, there's 100 million people who want fake knees, but not everybody wants prosthetic wings that they can jump from space with. Did he want to laugh after he said elbow room and then knees? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy lost an elbow. Are you going to make a joke about that? Shut the fuck up. So, so in addition to the, the custom prosthetics, which is to like help people, in, you know, be happy with themselves and go out and live full and, and active and awesome lives, we also make uh, armor, which is high impact composite armor, which is this kind of stuff. Awesome shit. Uh, and that's for extreme limits. Now, why does he need armor? He doesn't have a fucking cinder box one. Do <laughs> I need the armor for the cinder block? That's for the subway ride is home. <laughs> That's kind of the point. People want to go out and do all this dumb shit and they don't protect themselves. They end up dead or eaten by bears or, you know. You want to go do street at 80 miles an hour drunk this far from the highway gotcha. and you expect not to, like, explode if you hit the ground or a tree? Like, nobody's helping these guys. Do you need some back team for your back? I mean, you saw some pretty bad cuts there. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fine in, like, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, that's cool. Do you get a tetanus good. shot every so often just in case you... Disgusting, I'm filthy bottles. I want to kick you in the fucking chest. Just to you want to kick me in the chest? Time. Again, with the cursing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I wanted to punch you in the cunt since I met you, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, Professor, how did you guys uh, meet up in it? To That's a fun story. We met up uh, out at the it was uh, the Democratic National Convention <laughs> in Denver. In 2008, we went secret agent watching. <laughs> but were you guys dressed like that? At, 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 no, we were a little, I think a little more toned down. Do you, are you guys friends of Penn and Teller at all, that, that show? Have you ever seen them perform? A little bit. He's yeah. just hoarse from yelling all last night. That's the only reason he's not saying much. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah hoarse? But yeah, they're good. But well, you were on the phone. Were you calling the Riddler and uh, fucking... <laughs> Just keep thinking of the penguin without the residuals. Uh, now, if somebody wanted to hire you guys to do like a, a like a real rich guys barbecue, where would they get in touch with you? Uh, well, I mean, you can email me. It's dradventure666 at gmail.com. And that's uh, uh, doctor is spelled out the whole way. Okay. D-O-C-T-O-R. Uh, or you can get to my website, and that's thenewfleshworkshop.com if you want superhero armor or... Custom prosthetics. So it's Dr. D-O-C-T. What was that doctor shit you were telling me? That's my face. That's my face. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you know, that's, I that's, know nothing. You know, you know, right. uh, also, anybody wants to drop me 100 Gs for a jetpack, I'm your guy. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I think you guys are great. We're going um, to wrap this interview up. And thank you for coming by, both of you. Professor, thank you. Doctor. Thank you Doctor Adventure. <laughs> Doctor Adventure. <laughs> So, George, uh, you got a clip for us? Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit on the internet. Uh, I found something really weird. It's, I think this is Osama bin Laden's accordion teacher or some shit. <laughs> you, you're kidding, right? No, no, this is good. Take a look at this shit. Okay. A toothless fucking zero with a fucking five album deal.
disgusting, toothless fucking sand monkey. He looks like he's chewing on Betty White's cunt right now. And his mouth is... Ugh. All right. I think this guy was the third runner-up on Bag Dad Has Talent, the TV show. He brushes his teeth with C4. He's a hell of a singer, and he hates the Jews in the college. <laughs> It's, it's a real pleasure to give my friends some exposure. I hope this helps his career. Joe Conti just got back from a tour of U.S. and Canada where they all hated him and all that other <laughs> bullshit. He's a good friend of mine. You're going to love his comedy. Joe Conti. Thanks, Otto. I tell you, how about those two guys, that Dr. Exacto and Professor Nickelodeon, whatever the fuck their name is? Wow. You think that one guy might have missed the cinder block once and smashed him right in his fucking face? Uh, it's great. We get to film here right in Jersey. I get to come down here. I am Italian and from Jersey, so I'm, I fit a stereotype. I don't know if you know. So uh, anybody here fans of that show that's based on Italians in Jersey? That show on fucking MTV, huh? The Jersey Shore, huh? No. Fans? No! What a piece of shit that is. Yeah. What a piece of shit that is, I gotta tell you. But I'm not one of those Italians that takes offense to that. You ever hear them? They go, you know what, that show, it perpetuates the Italian stereotype. It portrays us Italians in a negative light. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't act like that friggin' guy. Do you know who my father is? I'll put a pencil in your fucking neck. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. Nothing offends me, I don't give a shit. But it's another fake bullshit reality show that's turning retarded people into icons, okay? I mean, it's bullshit. Do you know three people on that show have written books? I'm gonna repeat that. Three people on that show have written books. Most people who watch that show never read a fucking book. And it's just bullshit, you know? They're all fake, they're all bullshit. So I wanna do the first real reality show ever to be put out by American television. Where I, Joe Conti, go down to the Jersey Shore and I sneak into their house, and I put anthrax in all their cosmopolitans, <laughs> and then I put them on a deserted island with nothing but calamari, coconuts, and capicole, <laughs> and I chase them down one at a time with a shotgun. Yeah. And we'll call it Joe Conti the Guido Hunter. What do you think? <laughs> be a good show, right? I think there'd only be one season, though. I, don't know. I think, unless there's some dope from Staten Island, go, I want to do that show, you know, where the fat guy kills me at the end. It'd be fantastic. I'll be a fucking millionaire. Idiot. <laughs> so, uh, listen, you guys have been awesome. My name is Joe Conti. Yeah, Thank Joe. you so much. Yes. I got my hoodie on because I got a little chilly. <laughs> All right, they hold up one more sign saying more George. Like, my self-esteem isn't low enough. Okay, every time I talk, they go, All right, the show's starting to suck. Why don't you have the puppet quack, 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 quack? No. Uh, fucking, I know I stink. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. Otto does a couple of really funny impressions, you know? And uh, they just make me laugh. Yeah, Paul that. Lind and your, your Woody Allen, they just make me laugh. You don't do, do it. on stage? Do it! Do it. I don't mean to be didactic, nor facetious, but star smile strong. <laughs> Bro Broadway Danny Rose, rent it, you fucking idiots. John, speaking of fucking idiots, Joe Conti never saw Godfather 1, Godfather 2, and he's Italian. And, and he likes gangster films. I saw, I saw, I saw, I just, uh, he's a guy about busy. Uh, the, I, like the I, greatest movie ever made, you're just gonna skip that and watch 
you know, fucking uh, a day in the life of Jimmy Reardon or whatever. That's <laughs> but it's like, uh, he, his only comment was, uh, Al Pacino finally lost his temper in that last scene when he screamed at his wife. They go, well, nothing about Marlon Brando, the greatest actor ever. Nothing about Jimmy Kahn. Nothing about the guy getting strangled. Uh, he got mad there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what the movie was about. He got mad at his wife for three hours. Fucking idiot. Yeah, yes. a, according to Brando, right? <laughs> Trish just reminded Jeez. me that you had never seen It's a Wonderful Life. Remember? We right. watched that a couple of yeah. things. Oh. Not now. Oh, God. Yeah, I know this one guy. Well, the funny man without any money. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know my agent, James D. Benedetto. Yeah, they, 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 if he was your agent, he you wouldn't be working. <laughs> they, this show, Joe, is that Joe coming? That's Joe, yeah. Why? Is it? I, you still owe me money from last year. I never got a lot of nerve. I never, <laughs> I never did come you. over here. I never lived in your building. What kind of people are you hey, having? Where are you on Not now! <laughs> Right. Hey, are you on that show? America has no talent. You are hot. You remember how far you put a match in the show? Yeah, yeah. I put a fucking on this guy. I love this. What's what's up? Okay, my baby, my missus, terrible. What is that? You know, this show is eventually going to start bringing some cash in, and at that point. You'll be paid in advance for the next six months. I, I want to get paid now. You got a lot of nerve. You come here with this guy. He knows you. Not you. Now. You got a lot of nerve. Like and he will come here. What the He's hell? He's hallucinating. I don't even have money anymore. Hey, I walk around town. Look at the nothing. color. Look at the color of the water that came out of your fucking sink. Not now. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's hard for me. To, they want me to talk to you through the puppet. Now, you know me. I'm not one of those guys with a dummy that, that, that has them out all the time. No, right? I mean, once, once, the, the best story was that when I first started working with Otto, I had picked him up, and his old apartment was the third floor. So there was no elevator. We were doing two, two nights. So the first night, I drop him off. He goes, leave the puppet in your car. I'm like, <laughs> all right. You know, I, I didn't really know him too well. So I go home, and I bring it inside because the thing's like eight grand. But I had to take oh, it out. And I'm taking it out. And I'm like, I should have. Uh, and I get in the car. I pick him I up. That. I, I, I pick him up. He gets in the car. He doesn't even say hello to me. He goes, you know, if you fuck George, he's going to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's his idea of a great start. So, um, so just. I said, does finger in his asshole count? <laughs> Now, you're a notorious creep and latch. Uh, <laughs> how about these piglets? <laughs> I'd wear each one of them like a Halloween mask. <laughs> me, me, me and Joe worked up in Canada, in uh, Edmonton, Canada, during one of the most brutal fucking winters ever. Wasn't yeah. that great? We had a good time, right? Yeah, Watched it was a the bunch of movies. Yeah, the mall in the world. Yeah. The fucking mall had 58 entrances. Like, there was a beach inside the mall, two yeah. casinos in the mall. And the thing is, all the girls up there, they're all real sweet. And you think you're gonna bang every chick that you talk to, and all they do is go, "Okay, see you later. Here's a bag of weed." That's yeah. what they do. <laughs> yeah, how you mean? And then they go, "Bring it back to your friends." I'm yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna bring the weed over the fucking border. I know. Into <laughs> Jersey, so I can tell my friends here, try Canadian pot. I know it sucked. We had to give all that pot away. We couldn't bring it back with us, or mail it, or nothing. No. <laughs> all right, you two stone fucking jerk offs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for doing my show, and uh, we'll be you, back man. with more Pig Rolls. Joe Conti. What are you doing down there? Buy a Swiffer. <laughs> I'm checking you for scoliosis. You're good. All right, get, get, off, get off your whore. All right, stop that. So uh, I want to thank the squatters, the piglets, Big A. Yeah. Big A. Joe Conti, great comedian. Yeah. 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 And
then we had Dr. Avenger and Professor Clark. Yeah. Lunatics. All right. And now the band plays us out. We dance around like.